Hey guys, hope you're doing good. Uh, I'm really excited for this video. So we have the new Kaido House R34. It's in this really cool like green blue color. I'm hoping that it's color shifting, but we will see in just a sec. Really cool. This is the number 74. Obviously we got Nissan Skyline GTR R34 Kaido Works. Very cool. This is uh, this is kind of like a Gretti sponsored car. You can see right there. Really, really nice. So on the bottom, we've got our TSM sticker. There's your UPC right there. We've got Mini GT socials, and then we've got our Nissan licensing over here on this side. So very cool. Um, this is the fourth Kaido House R34 that I have so far. The first two that came out, we had this purple one, and we also had this white one. And then there was a there was two from the Malaysia Diecast Expo. There was one for the event, and then there was also a dinner car. I did not get either of those; just a little bit too expensive for me. But then we also had this blue one come out recently as well. And there's uh, there's been some limited edition ones, like the Black Series ones that they do. There is um, currently up for auction at the time I'm recording this. I think it ends tomorrow. There is the Maui Charity one that Kaido House did, the R34. I'll try to throw up a picture of that on screen. And now, finally, we have this one. I've been looking forward to this ever since it was... I know I say that about every model, but I've really, truly been very excited for this one. So let's go ahead and get it cracked open. Get all this plastic wrap off of it. So, heck yeah, I'm excited. All right. So let's, oh yeah, I always forget that there's tape on the bottom side of these right here. Got to cut the tape. So I'm very, very, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm very doubtful this is a chase. Probably just, uh, probably no way it's a chase. Nope, no chase. Okay, so here we go. Set the box over there. So right here, it uh, kind of gives us uh, like a pronunciation and just like a brief little explanation of what Gretty means. So that's pretty cool. You can pause and read that if you want. Got Kaido House right there on that side. Got Japanese text right there. That might be the pronunciation or that might just be Gretty in Japanese. Not really sure. And then Kaido House on that side. I really like the color scheme of this particular model. Like the, it's got like the purple, then the teal and the yellow color. So it's really cool. So, plastic's out. Let's take a look at this thing. All right, I'll set that there. Just a little black insert at the bottom of the box just to hold it in place, just like normal. Get all this, oops, I just threw the box across the room. There we go. Get that set up right there. All right, let's take a look at this thing. Okay, so it's, uh, it is color shifting paint, which is amazing. Um, it's a little hard to see on camera. I will take some photos of this after I'm done recording so you can kind of see the different, um, like gradients of color, but real quick, just the paint, obviously it's beautiful metal flake color shifting paint it kind of shifts from like this, uh, kind of cool, like blue color into like some greens, a little bit of teal, very cool. Let's set it right here. I want to pull out something else to kind of compare the paint to. So a while back, Mini GT did a collaboration with Tarmac Works and they brought out this number 146 Huracan GT. And this actually has real car paint by this company. I'm not sure how to say it. And there was this one and then there's also an R35. I unfortunately don't have that one yet. It's on my list to get. There's so many cars. But really cool one. It had color shifting paint as well. Pretty similar to this Kaido house. So here's the car right here. Eventually I will do a review on this car. I'm kind of trying to get the chase version first, but it looks like very similar paint, but obviously not exactly the same. You can kind of see it shifts from like that light blue into like the green and all that good stuff. So it's a really, really similar paint, but I would say it is a little bit different. Well, not a little bit, but a lot of bit different. But they are kind of like the same like green slash blue color shifting paint. So I thought that was really cool. This is Kaido House. I believe this is Kaido House first model that has color shifting paint. So um, not really that crazy of a deal, but I feel like that's kind of special. Hopefully we get some more color shifting paints from them like this in the future. I think it just adds a, a lot to the model. But anyways, 
we'll jump in starting with the wheels we've got these big like deep dish wheels they are all just silver the the barrel is silver and then the interior the six spokes are silver as well um, same thing with the back the back wheels are going to be a lot thicker than the front just like um, normal on these Kaido house models we do have some printing on the tires it says boost brigade not really sure what that is I don't believe that's a tire brand that's think, thinking that's just some sort of logo but in red on the wheels right there you can see it does say GTR so that is nice and yeah the wheels look pretty good on the side of the car right here we have 100% Kaido house and it looks like the the A and the I are a little bit cut off on the bottom um, yeah it's not like that on this side but it says 100% Kaido house pretty cool on down here we have the uh, the Gretty logo I'm pretty sure is what that is I don't know what the T is but I know the GR is Gretty because it has that same color scheme that we saw on the box right here we have a little 94 up on the fender I don't know what the 94 is it's real big on the box as well somebody let me know what this 94 stands for is it for 1994 because I think I think maybe this car the R34 came out in 94 not exactly sure somebody let me know I'm sure somebody knows um, back here on the back of the car we've got Gretty again right there in white looks really good really clean livery on this car again just like on all the other ones we've got a little we've got a little uh, carbon pillar right here so that is kind of neat the interior the roll cage on this one is going to be gold um, I think so far at least for the ones that I have they've either been gold or they've been yellow so yep that's that roll cage gold looks nice a little bit of uh adds a little bit of contrast to the the darker blue slash green paint but going around to the front We've got our GTR badge front and center. Looks really good. We've got Gretty down here on this little uh, meshing. It's kind of hard to read just because uh, just because of the way the meshing is with the white being printed on it. It is a little bit hard to read, but that does say Gretty. We've got two white uh, reflectors or turn signals right here, and then our acrylic headlights do look very nice. Uh, pretty good amount of detail behind there. They are very clear. I don't see a lot of glue residue or anything, so that is good. Um, down here, the front lip, carbon fiber all the way around, looks really nice. Um, yeah, looks pretty good. Um, on the hood right here, we've got Gretty, and then it has this same little uh, bit of information and pronunciation details as the inside of the box did, so that is kind of cool. Um, the words are printed very small, but I can, we're only zoomed in, in two times, and I can read that pretty easily, so that is really good, um, that is really good attention to detail as far as the words being clear, so I do like that a lot. Uh, we've got this little air intake right here, a couple little, um, couple little raised like hood pin pieces, not hood pin pieces, but you know what I mean. And while we're at the front, we'll go ahead and take a look at the hood if I can get it open. We'll take a look under the hood, I should say. Come on, this one's gonna be a pain in the butt to get open. I don't want to scratch the paint or anything. Maybe I can try to very gently. There we go. All right, we got it. All right, so here is the engine bay. Looks really nice. You can see there's uh, some of that body paint color um, all in there as it's part of the casting. And then like your engine block is gonna be in gold. There's that silver like chrome support piece going over. And then like a little bit of carbon fiber detailing right in here. So a little bit of like yellow, <clears throat> yellow detailing in there. Really nice. I think they always do a good job. It looks like right here, this little gunmetal gray piece. I don't know if that's like, uh, okay, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't know a whole lot about motors, engines, anything like that. So I know very basics. This gunmetal gray piece right here, I was about to call it the air intake. I It's probably not what it is, but it does look like it's stamped with the Kaido House logo going back there. So that does look really good. Um, yeah, very nice, very nice details. Um, I really like that they do these, uh, these detailed engines like that. I think they look really good, but Anyways, we will move on and come around to this side. Pretty much the same exact thing as the um, passenger side. Um, got the 100% Kaido House, the Gretty logo, that 94 right there, and then Gretty on the back. Carbon fiber on the B pillar again. And coming back around to the back, 
On the rear wing, it is kind of like a ducktail type of spoiler. It does say Boost Brigade in big white letters right there. We've got the Skyline um, imprinting right there, the GTR badge, the Nissan logo right in the center, a little reflector right there. Beautiful brake lights, the same brake lights we've seen on all of Mini GT and Kaido House R34s. They look really good. Got a little Gretty like bumper sticker back here, and then you've got 34 LLC. Ma what does that say? Montano-00. Cool. Okay. And then our little V-Spec logo right there on the right-hand side. So the back end has a lot of detail going on. It's very detailed. We've got our uh, quad exhaust tips right here in chrome. And then you have this little, like, uh, I don't know if it's like a protector or like a diffuser back here, but it kind of just runs all the way across on the bottom. So looks really good. Other than that, on the back window right here, 100% Kaido House again, and then there's that Gretty logo in Japanese. And then also, right here, real small on the bottom of the logo, you've got Gretty, and then it also has that little um, information, that little information thing again, just like we see on the hood right here. But that, that's so small that I'm not, there's no way anybody's going to be able to read that, unless you have like a microscope or something. <laughs> but it is there, don't know if it's legible, um, I don't have that good of eyesight. But anyways, last detail for as far as like the livery goes is on the windshield we do have Gretty printed on to the top not really in like a banner style just uh, kind of like free letters on there but looks really nice and then of course just like all the past R34 Kaido house cars we have the crazy body kit with the big old fenders and like these canards down here at the side looks really good same thing back here we've got canards right here we've got some on this side and then a big another big wide body piece right there so looks really good the color shifting paint is just phenomenal like I said I I'll, I'll have put some photos up earlier when I was talking about the paint and stuff so you guys can really see how amazing this is but yeah very nice model from Kaido house um, once again I was really excited to get this in crack it open take a look at it with you guys for the first time just a beautiful casting. So, yep. I feel like it's been a while since I've gotten any Kaido House stuff. I do want to get the uh, the Chevy Silverado, the red one, just came out. I do want to pick that one up and try to view review it as well. Um, probably a couple weeks out for that one, just because I haven't ordered it yet. So, we will try to take a look at that one too, but man, look at that paint. It's incredible. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new, you want to see more Kaido House, more cool stuff from Mini GT and Kaido House and all the good diecast brands, and we will catch you guys next time.